setting low expectations for his first budget, Governor J.B. Pritzker report, Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker's administ rebuilding a strong financial foundation for Illinois will take more than one year, or even one gubernatorial term, said a report from the current administ as Pritzker prepares to deliver his first spending plan to lawmakers February 20. His administration said it is facing a $3.2 billion hole for the budget year that begins July 1. That deficit is word of the larger deficit and the stark tone of the document that details it you dub digging out the rounder wreckage report you provided a dramatic contrast to Pritzker's populist campaign promises of spending more money on education and a host of social services. How Pritzker plans to address the budget hole in the near term remains unclear. The governor said he, throughout his campaign, Pritzker repeated his plan to shift from a flat state income tax to a in which higher earners would pay higher rates. But that requires his other ideas for generating new revenue you and sports betting you also would take time to implement and wouldn't raise the substantial sums that an income tax change could. We've begun to identify revenue sources that can be implemented immediately, Heinz said, declining to elaborate. A separate report released Friday from Prit KZR's transition team raised the prospect of expanding the state sales tax to some services you a concept long discussed and disregarded. It even raised the a group of Chicago business leaders is calling for $8 billion in tax hikes and spending cuts and a revamped pension funding plan to fix Illinois financial mess. In a report issued about two weeks before Democrat government, is set to unveil. At one point in the campaign, Pritzker discussed raising the state's overall flat income tax rate but adding tax credits on lower incomes to create a de facto graduated tax pending the constitutional amendment, but he backed away from the idea after facing criticism. It's not uncommon for new governors to blame the state's financial woes on their predecessors, often saying they discovered things were worse when they got on the job. When Rauner took office in 2015, he blamed previous administrations over decades for failing to develop a credible financial plan to deal with the state's money troubles. But in the Pritzker, the Rauner years will have ripple effects for a generation to come on those who suffered direct harm, including taxpayers, the Pritzker report said, citing increased debt and a growing pile of unpaid bills to those providing state services, you particularly social service agencies. The Rauner administration estimated the deficit for next budget year at nearly $2.8 billion. But the Pritzker admit also complicating the budget picture is a $500 million bill for pay increases owed to those workers. Rauner tried to block. He also faces pension obligations of $9.2 billion next year, which will consume about a quarter of the state's general revenue, and a backlog of unpaid bills nearing $8 billion. The new governor has made his first legislative priority, a move that would fulfill a campaign promise but also has financial consequences for the state running into the hundreds of millions of dollars. The human and financial costs that have accrued over the last four years you to say nothing of the missed opportunity to stabilize Illinois finances during a period of relatively strong economic growth you will require a tremendous amount of effort to remedy going forward, the report said. In addition to the financial hole cited in the report, the state faces monumental costs to rebuild and improve its infrastructure. Pritzker and Repub While Pritzker has pinned his long-term financial vision for the state on a graduated income tax, prospects for voter ratification in 2020 of a constitutional amendment are questionable. The issue would like, already, a pro-business political committee headed by Greg Bays, the former president and CEO of the Illinois Manufacturers Association, announced the formation of a group called Ideas Illinois to combat the graduated rate tax. Pritzker has dubbed, reckless spending and a massive jobs tax are not the way to fix Illinois' broken economy, said Bays, who is chairing Ideas Illinois. Ideas Illinois the group is an offshoot of a political committee founded by Bayes and businessman Ron Gidwitz called the Coalition for Jobs, Growth, and Prosperity. Gidwitz left the com Twitter at Petrella Reports. Twitter at RAP30. More coverage. Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker's Administ Rebuilding a Strong Financial Foundation. Hey. Drop, 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 smoking, no cooking, no hot pot.